Hello guys, welcome to today's video by Trust Stanley. This is a TS Tech Talks video. On today's video guys, I'm going to show you how to screen record with your AZ screen recorder. So on my previous video, I showed you how to use the U recorder and this is my um, second best um, screen recorder for your Android device. So if you are um, a live streamer or you are a gamer or you just want to create a tutorial on your mobile phone, this is the application that you use you need to use to create and it is free to download i already made a video on how to get them and you can check list of other applications to see other screen recorder yeah, that you could use in case this didn't work for your device and you can download this application from from your android play store so um once you open this um screen recorder this is all you need to do you notice there is a screenshot there is a quick um way to start the application this initial installation is what you need to do now go ahead and click on allow so it will bring you to this area where it displays the setting it might look different on your own device but on this device this is how it brought it up all you need to do is to scroll down to where you find az screen recorder this is AZ screen recorder right there. So all you need to do is tap this option. What this means is actually it's going to make the application appear on top of the screen. That means it will appear on top of every other application. Now let me go ahead and close it. So you notice this is the um, one that appears on top. This is it displaying right there. So I'm just going to click on OK. And then it's going to show another information and then I'm just going to tap anywhere right there. So like um, the previous application, every video you record will be displayed right here. And if you want to see pictures you also um, took with this screen recorder, it will be displayed here. And if you want to edit the setting, you have to tap on this area. And then if you want to change the resolution, click on this one to choose a resolution. And this even have more resolution on it. You can see. If you want to create a very quality video, go ahead and choose the highest one. But note that the ink, the higher the resolution, the higher the size of the video you are creating. So just make sure you have a moderate resolution. On default, I use this one. But if you want it to be very high, just choose this other um, option, the first option, which is the highest. If you want to reduce the resolution, go ahead and choose any settings right there. But I think this is the best. So you can also increase or reduce the bit rate. But I think on default, I prefer it to be on auto. But you can just change it to 12 Mbps if you want to, or just reduce it to 8 Mbps, depending on you. And also, you can change the frame rate. Now, if you click on frame rate, there are several frame rates. There are 20, um, 60, um, 50, 60 frame rate per second. FPS means per frame rate per second. You can change it to 60 frame rate per second, 50 frame rate per second, and whichever one you want. Um, a lot of people or animators use 30 frame rates per second, so choose any one you want to, but on default, I leave that on auto. And then another thing you need to change is the orientation. I usually leave this on auto because whenever you turn your screen, it um, have to record that particular screen size. But if you leave this on portrait, it's going to record street. If you leave it on landscape, it will only record landscape. But I prefer to leave this on auto because most times i play video game and when i play video game i also record it so recording it i might have to turn my game like this to record it and on some games i need to turn them like this like if i'm playing call of duty mobile i have to make it landscape but if i'm playing um pac-man it has to be portrait so i leave this on auto because that is the best option for me now whichever one you want just go ahead and choose it and then time lapse for the video I actually disable this because I do not want the video to be um, too fast or too slow. But if you want to increase your time lapse, you can go ahead and choose any of them. If you want it to be um, 1.5 minutes faster, you can just choose that. Then it increases your um, video speed or you can choose the um, opposite option to reduce the video speed. But all of this, I'm not making use of that and I'm not interested to use that right now. And you notice an option that says enable audio, right? Now, if you enable this audio, it's actually going to record your screen audio and also your phone audio, your mic audio, actually. It records the mic and the device audio, which means if you are playing game, it will record the sound of the game. Or if you are um, 
watching a video it records the sound of the video and if you are also voicing it out it can also record it and you notice the second option that says audio source when you click on this audio source you see two different audio source unlike the previous applications you will be able to choose microphone or you'll be able to choose internal audio whichever one you choose you have to make use of one of them but some other applications you can make um, use of the three of them the microphone and also the internal audio but for some reason is a recorder only have one of them so choose it if you want to and also where you want your device to be saved you can go ahead and select that option also but on default it saves on your storage which is your device storage i only have one storage right here which is the internal storage i don't have any memory card on it there is no memory card slotted into the phone so it's not going to display now if you want to uh, record green screen recording you can choose this option and there is a lot of option also but um we can't be going through everything right now but the most interesting option i want to show you guys how to do it doesn't always display right there is this blush icon on other recording you might see the option to choose the brush icon like when i click here you notice it says brush what this brush does is actually for instance we are recording a video and you choose a color and then you just um, highlight that particular area it will actually um, use the particular color you chose and then circle it all for you you see you can notice what i've been drawing on the screen so depending on how you want it you can undo 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 and and then remove everything that is what the brush does it actually still displaying here so you can go ahead and turn it on here or you turn it on even at the other side is actually selecting because it's active i just closed it and you can see it's in the left now you can turn it off and then turn it on if you turn it on you notice it displays right there let me close up you notice it displays right here right this is it so once you turn it on it displays and you want to turn it off just click on this icon and it closes you want to enable it click on it also and it will be displayed also and you can start working on it once you're done close it and it will be closed so this is the face cam i turn it on by mistake let me go right back to show you so for the cam all you need to do is to choose this camera icon and it will turn on the face cam which is is actually recording the screen right there so it start recording the screen because you just turn on the camera which is called face cam on other application but is actually enabled here so i'm going to go ahead and disable it and also this also have your test and your logo if you want to display your test while recording the video all you need to do is to click on show test and then the test you want to to be displayed go ahead and type it right there on default it says du recorder i want to change this to my company name so i'm going to make it ts tech talk actually and then click ok now you notice it says ts tech talk and the color you can change the color to whichever color you want i'm okay with this i'm going to move it down there i, I don't want it to cover the whole screen and anything but if you want you can move it and place it anywhere this is a bit uh, more unique compared to the um the previous screen recorder i showed you guys the video about and then if you want it to have a background color you can just choose any background color i chose this and oh the background color is not being accepted for some reason the background color did not display for some reason and then also there is still an option for logo you notice the logo displays right there now i'm going to change that particular logo icon I'm going to upload a particular logo. Uh, there should be an option for a logo, but right there I'm seeing sticker. Just go to um, the device. I clicked on all image, so it's going to take a while to display all images I have on my device i'm going to choose this ts tech talk logo so this is ts tech talk logo and i want to have it right there and if for some reason you want to get rid of this one just go ahead and dis um, disable the test but if you want it back enable it it displays wherever you want it to so now if i record a video let me go right back to save it just navigate back and back and now home screen so 
Now, if I want to record my video, let me record a video so that you guys will see. Click on record, start recording. So it's going to count down to three and then the recording starts. Now, let's say I'm recording this and probably teaching a tutorial and then open my Facebook and then decided to show them how to highlight a particular area. Click right there and then I'm going to delete the existing line and now I'm going to draw this right there. And then if for some reason that color isn't good enough, I can change it to red and now draw it again. Actually, I need to undo to remove the existing one and then draw. And once I'm done, I close it. So in every way, it actually helps you to create an awesome video. And once you're done recording, just click on stop and it will stop the recording. If you're ready to play the recording, just click on play and then now let's say i'm recording this and probably you notice right now that the logo actually displays in the video this is the logo displaying in the video so when you are recording the video or you're trying to record the video wherever you position the logo that is where it will display and i think this is very interesting if you guys find it interesting smash the like button and subscribe to this channel i'll have a lot of awesome videos on this channel that you can check out and then so guys for some reason you for some reason, I just noticed this. Okay, this is the video I just recorded right there. You see? Now, let's say I'm recording. So, whenever you open the application, it displays all of those um, recorded video, screenshots, and then settings. So, let's assume we want to reduce the test. Um, probably this image is a bit too big and we want to reduce it. You can click here and then. You notice that, right? You notice that it reduced. Okay, let me go ahead and increase it even further. You notice it increased, right? Now, let me reduce it even further. So, whichever way you want it, whichever way you think it will be okay for you, just go ahead and do all of those settings and make sure that um, you have it suitable the way you want and go ahead and record and enjoy the screen recorder. A lot of screen recorders are going to be making tutorials about and a lot of awesome things. I hope you guys will be able to learn a lot from it. And if you are learning a lot from this channel, don't forget to share the video with your friends and recommend them to subscribe to this channel. I'm going to see you soon on my next video. Peace.